Hi, I'm Austin Clemen, and today I'm reviewing The Martian. The Martian is a movie directed by Ridley Scott starring Matt Damon, and it's about an astronaut's struggle to survive on Mars by himself after being stranded there by his team after they thought he was dead. He has limited supplies and has to figure out how to make those supplies last long enough for NASA to send another team to either rescue him or save his body because he doesn't know if they know that he's still alive. The movie is acted flawlessly and the chemistry between all the characters is so thick that you believe that they are their characters. You don't see the actors, you see their characters. Which is difficult to do, especially because a majority of the movie, Matt Damon's character and the rest of the cast are separated, but you have to believe that they actually care for each other and that Mark Watney, Matt Damon's character, is actually the heart and soul of the team. Also, Watney's overwhelming perseverance and charisma and positivity throughout the movie, even with all the crap that happens to him throughout the movie, it just, it makes you be like, yeah, you can do this. Go get it, Mark. You got this. I believe in you. You will succeed. And I'm gonna come close to dying. And another thing, The Martian, it's not a comedy, but it is one of the funniest movies that I have seen this entire year. Everyone in the theater, we simultaneously burst out into laughter throughout the entire movie. And then also, I didn't go into this movie with very high expectations. I didn't know much about it. I didn't read any reviews and I didn't read the book. I just knew a little bit because a couple of my friends who had read the book told me somewhat what it was about. And I loved almost everything about this movie. There were just a few points in there, like there's a, there's a segment towards the end that takes place on Earth that I feel like could have been cut a little bit shorter. Would have made the movie, it wouldn't have made the movie any less enjoyable, but it would have made it flow a little bit better, I feel like. And then also there was a few too many F-bombs. I feel like they could have been a little bit less and you still would have had the comedy there that they were going for. So if you like the movie Castaway or Apollo 13 or sci-fi movies, you're gonna love this movie, because I did. And then if you read the book you're gonna and love the book, you're gonna love the movie, because I had multiple friends who read the book and they all said that the movie was super faithful to it and that they loved it just as much as the book. There were just a, maybe two things that they could think of that had changed but didn't make it any less enjoyable. So 10 out of 10, I'd see this movie again, but I'd give it a 9.5 overall rating. With USF's Movie Moment, I'm Austin Clement.